Hello everyone, I'm Yanis Kalafatis and today we'll see how to make uh, pita. Greek Easter is uh, near the corner, so it's something that we'll need. So here are most of the ingredients we'll need. We'll need some uh, lukewarm, too warm but not too warm uh, water, which by the way, really quick, uh, dry yeast, fast activating, we'll go in and we'll whisk to dissolve. And then we've got left uh, some flour, plain flour, and then salt and sugar, five, five grams each. In the end, we'll need some extra flour to open up and roll up uh, the pita bread. And this will need about 10 minutes uh, to activate the yeast. So, I'll see you in 10. Okay, 10 minutes has passed. So we'll go salt and sugar in here, all the dry stuff together, mix well, and then we will add our mix, water with yeast, slowly, slowly, so as you mix and you will see a very glutinous and a little bit of a wet of a dough and we want that, it's a very fluffy one. And now we'll use some flour on the bench to continue. A good amount. We'll spread it a bit. Just here, make sure you scrape everything from the bowl. Uh, now we're gonna knead the dough a little bit. We're gonna play around with it. So. And if you've got one of those scrapers, it will help you do the job easier. Okay, when we need it a little bit, it comes to this point. We're gonna separate it into balls. Like so. Try to have them the same shape, uh, same size. Not too big, not too small. Now we're gonna put flour here in the middle. And then we're gonna just shape it a little bit. Now at the same time, we're gonna get a little bit of flour and we're gonna dust it onto a tray like so. And the bowls that we have saved, we're gonna put them in here, like that. Hop, there you go. Look, look at this beautiful, so fluffy and smooth and beautiful though. Okay, clean hands, done. Uh, now we want to wrap the tray, as you can see, I just put clean film, I just didn't press the record, press the record button. So, I'll see you then. Oh, timer off. Now let's have a look. This has doubled a bit in size, you can go a little bit more, you can leave them definitely more. Uh, I'm running low on time, so I will need to show you really quick. <laughs> and I like when you open the clean film, you have this beautiful yeasty smell. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get flour on the bench again for one more time, like so. We just wanna open them a little bit up. If they're sticky, you can just a little bit, add a little bit of flour. Now we'll, what we'll need is a glass with water and some neutral oil. And now very important, we'll need one pan with a lid the fits. Now what we will need is into a pan, we'll cut a circle, uh, a baking pepper like this, stove on, onto medium heat, we'll pour a little bit of water, like so, and then we'll place this on top. Now onto the pan, as that starts to heat up, we'll add a drizzle of oil, like so. And now, this is as is this hot, again, we don't want it too hot. We're gonna get one of our beauties and we'll go in. Fix the shape if you mess it up like I did. And now, we're gonna add a little bit of water and then we're gonna put the lid on. Now we're gonna leave it and then we're gonna flip. There you go, now we're gonna flip 
and we're gonna put the lid back in. First pita is out. Now we'll go the second one in and then we'll open a little bit, fix the size. Okay, so end result, we will end up with uh, a plate and stacked up pitas like that. Uh, put baking paper so they don't stick and they just leave them to cool down. Uh, some of them will get broken. As you can see, I've got one here, it has a hole in the middle, but it's okay. Uh, it's part of the process until you do it again and again. And now the phase two is to give color and flavor. So we will switch on the pan on to medium heat. We'll get a little bit of olive oil onto our pan, like so. And we'll go with our pita on top. Use a lemon tongue so you don't burn yourself. And now what we want to do is here, we're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of oregano. Now we want to switch to give a nice color. And now we're going to flip. We're going to add a little bit of salt and a bit of oregano. She starts getting color, so now we're gonna do like an X, so it looks nice. And that will be our first pita. And ta-da! This is how to make a good pita. <laughs> this will be for gyros or with dips like tarmo salat and tzatziki that we've seen uh, together previously. I've dropped out the links throughout the video, so make sure you go watch them out. Or you can do after this video and then you see how to make this and enjoy it with nice dips. Or even uh, Tiro Kaftari, that was a spicy cheese dip. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do or you can just make gyros, something that we haven't done. We've seen how to make the meat but not the wrap. Uh, but let me know if you want to see that. It's not the easiest recipe again that we have done, is quite troublesome. Um, there are a lot of recipes out there but this I believe is one of the best is influenced by uh, Panos Ioannidis, a uh, Greek uh, famous chef, really good. Yeah, the recipe can be found uh, down below. There's a link for our website or you can just type yaniskalafatis.com. And we've course, we also got a blog where is uh, a double journey. It has the photography and a lot of other stuff that you can have a look. Make sure you click this red button, the right subscribe. A general beautiful family and it motivates to create more. Other than that, thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful sunny day.